A vacuum tube radio works by using vacuum tubes to amplify radio signals and convert them into sound waves. Vacuum tubes are electronic devices that contain a vacuum inside. This vacuum allows electrons to flow freely between the electrodes inside the tube. The simplest vacuum tube radio is called a diode. A diode has two electrodes, a cathode and an anode. The cathode is heated, which causes it to emit electrons. These electrons are then attracted to the anode, which is positively charged. When a radio signal is applied to the diode, it controls the flow of electrons between the cathode and anode. This is because the radio signal creates a voltage difference between the two electrodes. By controlling the flow of electrons, the diode can amplify the radio signal. More complex vacuum tube radios use multiple tubes to perform different tasks, such as amplifying the radio signal, tuning to different stations, and converting the radio signal into sound waves. Here is a simplified overview of how a vacuum tube radio works. The radio signal is received by the antenna. The antenna sends the radio signal to the tuning circuit. The tuning circuit selects the desired radio station. The selected radio signal is then sent to the amplifier. The amplifier amplifies the radio signal. The amplified radio signal is then sent to the detector. The detector converts the radio signal into an audio signal. The audio signal is then sent to the speaker. The speaker converts the audio signal into sound waves. Vacuum tube radios were the dominant type of radio receiver from the early 1900s until the 1960s. They were then replaced by transistor radios, which are smaller, more efficient, and more reliable. However, vacuum tube radios are still popular with some audiophiles, who appreciate their warm and rich sound quality.